everyone, Crystal Romero here. I am an independent Sensi consultant out of Colorado. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you are already a subscriber, it has been too long since I have recorded a video. And for no other reason other than I just have been so busy with work and family and I really haven't had the opportunity to get together the content that um, I've been meaning to. Um, so today I figured I would start off with a very uh, big <laughs> what I've been warming and empties video because uh, although it's been about four months since I did this, you know, last time, um, I have not slowed up on any of the product that I've been using or on any of my ordering. So um, I just haven't had the opportunity to do any of those uh, box opening videos. So uh, I do apologize for that. Thank you for coming back and uh, joining me again. Um, I have so much product to go through. Um, I'm just going to, I think, list it all out. If there's any uh, honorable mention, uh, you know, items or things I'd like to point out, um, good, bad, or whatever, I will um, stop and do that. But otherwise, it's like $800 worth of like product. I just, um, between the waxes and the cleaning and, you know, laundry, it's insane. So I think what honestly we, we should do is um, start with the kind of laundry and clean products um, and then move to maybe the unplugged products and we will wrap up this video with wax empties. So uh, stick with me and we will get through it. Uh, let's do laundry really quick. I had um, some good and bad experiences with some of the uh, Scentsy Laundry Liquid. Uh, what I have been using is the pink cotton, if you can see that, and uh, sunkissed citrus. Now, I think the sunkissed citrus was on clearance when I ordered it. Um, and although I really love the scent, um, it was just not strong at all, at all in the laundry products. So, went through um, two bottles of that, which is uh, okay. And um, I you know, will not be ordering um, any more of that Sunkissed Citrus um, product uh, in the cleaning and laundry, or I, I guess I should say in the laundry. Uh, I, I think I have ordered some of the concentrate for the Sunkissed Citrus. Um, then I have a lot of washer with uh, tubs. So I've gone through three of these tubs, which I know is a lot, but we do a lot of laundry in our house. Um, so I've been through a whole uh, tub of Luna, if you could see that. Um, great, strong, loved it, it was wonderful. I uh, went through a whole tub of Scentsy Clean, which was okay, kind of a generic laundry scent, not my favorite. Um, and then Clothesline, uh, which was much better scent. It's so hard to see with the glare, but um, Clothesline is, I think, my favorite laundry scent. Um, I definitely have tried the uh, laundry liquid, which I'm still going through, and the uh, fabric softener, and it's just my fave. So um, I'm just gonna stick with that. Now that I know, I also liked pink cotton, but not as much as clothesline, to be really honest with you. Um, and then we have the dryer discs. Um, some of these, I don't have the actual dryer discs left, but I know I um, went through them and loved them. This guy is Luna. I went through Sensi Clean. Again, it just kind of a generic smelling laundry nothing special, nothing bad, but it wasn't, you know, um, anything great. Uh, windowsill Breeze, this was not my favorite. It just, I don't know, it's something about that laundry scent. It's, it's nice, but I got sick of it. And so I, I know that there was a point with these dryer uh, discs that I was like, okay, I'm done with that scent. 
uh, white tea and cactus, which was really great. Um, I mean, I would buy this again and again. It's just something a little different. Um, in the laundry scent uh, that I really liked and like blankets and such and it, it you know because of the, it was a different scent than just clothesline I was able to smell it and enjoy it whenever um, I was cuddling up with the blanket and then aloe water and cucumber again along that same line of um, scents as the white tea and cactus if I had to choose which one I liked more I think white tea and cactus so that is just my opinion on the laundry stuff um after that i have some let's go through the clean products that i've been going through um i have a bathroom cleaner that i went through and squeezed the day and I want to say I had gotten this bottle with one of the um, whiff boxes and it was great. Loved it. Used it in my bathrooms. I thought it smelled good. In fact, I think I just bought some dish soap and uh, concentrate, multi-purpose concentrate in that scent. So it was great. Um, lemon verbena in a counter clean. Um, I, we have quartz countertops. So it's not an issue for us as far as like anything getting into the countertops because they are um, solid surface. But something to be careful of um, is if you are using these products because of the oil, the essential oils that they're putting in it, I would be careful if you had granite countertops or something that was, um, more porous because you know it's just I would be careful just be wary be aware that if no one else told you I mentioned it <laughs> and um, if you don't like it you could just use soap and water and get rid of whatever that uh, film or whatever uh, might be left behind but uh, let's see uh, to wrap up cleaning stuff that I've been uh, going through we went through a little hand soap of blue agave and melon. I loved this. This was in my son's bathroom. It was, um, it lasted us, you know, better part of summer and into September. So it was a great uh, little hand soap for his bathroom and which is, you know, also kind of a guest bath. And it just has like a nice, bright um, scent. And it kind of sticks with you once you, you know, kind of have it on your hand, so it's good for that, and he really enjoyed it. So I still have some wax in that, so I'm keeping until next summer because we liked it so much. Um, after that, uh, just mentioning some of my bulbs that I've gone through. Uh, this is a 25 watt bulb that went out, and um, to be honest, this month we're in October, so I've been changing some of my other bulbs out for color bulbs. So like orange, and, you know, since we're like whatever, Halloween and green for the same reason. So um, not that my other bulbs have gone out for any reason, but you know, I have, I'm not counting them as having burned out. So uh, then we can move on to the unplugged stuff. We, I found this um, in an old bag, like a backpack of my son's that I had put in his, uh, one of his many bags. Um, it's a scent pack in Eskimo Kiss. It's funny because now we're moving into winter again and it smells really great. It just, you know, it's run its course and um, I will, I think I have a wax, of this a wax bar so um, it's really nice it's it's almost too minty for fall still I um, mean there's so many great fall scents that I'm gonna be warming so this is more I'm kind of keeping it towards December so uh, we'll do that but I went through that and then we have lots of lots and lots of scent circles um, some of these my husband has used, some of these I have used. So, uh, Rise and Sunshine, 
that was a clearance one. It was great, it was strong, and um, it lasted quite a while. Um, I want to say that this one had, was it this guy? This one had kind of a, um, like a clovey kind of anise uh, scent after a while. So it was, it still lingered, but if you don't like that anise scent, then you're not gonna like that. Um, anyways, red pear and pomegranate, that was a good one. Uh, poppy fields, that was nice and fresh. I liked it, kind of floral. Um, pineapple pucker, did not like that. <laughs> it was too tart, too, it was too something. My, even my son, and he, you know, he wouldn't mention it unless it was like really offensive to him. He was like, mom, I don't like that scent. So that one didn't make it too long in my car. And then we have a couple of lavender cottons, which are really nice um, laundry scents and they lasted quite a bit, uh, you know, longer than, than I would expect. So I really love that. Um, and then I have a really dried up, cause it's been a while, uh, fragrance flower. This guy was um, the summer scent Fiji flower, I believe. It doesn't have the sticker in it anymore, but it smells like Fiji flower. Um, it was nice. It was great. I loved it in the um, in the bathroom of like the water closet in my in my bathroom, and uh, it still you know still has a great scent right when you're on top of it but in the room anymore, it didn't smell. So that one was retired. Uh, and then we have some body products. These are just samples that I've been going through. So pineapple, coconut, vanilla, and the hand cream and the body cream. And I might do a video on this, but um, basically if you've ever wanted to compare the two, I didn't, you know, I was curious, so I'm like, well, which one is, obviously the hand creams come in a smaller uh, tube than the body creams. Um, the hand cream is thicker than the body cream. I didn't know if I expected that or if I expected it to be the opposite, but I'm here to tell you that the hand cream is just less viscous. It's, it's like thicker. So uh, then we have the body wash and the hand soap again in pineapple, coconut, vanilla. Um, on these two, uh, I believe that the hand soap, I believe that the body, the hand soap is less thick on the, on the um, soapy products. So again, I didn't know which one to expect. It, it could have been the other way around and I could have justified that too, but uh, just so you know, that's what it was. And then I had seen some, um, that's Tucker in the background. I had some samples of pink cotton, the laundry samples. This is uh, soft, the scent soft, so uh, fabric softener, and then laundry liquid. So this I had used before my uh, bottle of laundry liquid and I liked it, which is why I love the bottle. So. There you have that. Uh, and then, so we can keep all the waxes together, I have a bag here of um, Scentsy Pods. Because I love Scentsy Pods. Let me make sure I don't have any other products. Oh, I, I do. So, really quick, this is, I think, Sheer Leather. It's a set bar. And I really liked that. Again, it lasted, you know, um, a decent amount of time. I think that these, um, the fact that it's sheer leather, it still has a, such a lovely scent to it when you smell it. Um, but I, 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 I'm torn. I don't know if I like the car bars more than the scent circles. Um, the scent circles are quite a bit less expensive. So if you wanted to try a few different scents, it makes, uh, you know, it's it's a consideration when you're making your purchase, but uh, otherwise, you know, I like them both. 
Okay, so quickly we're gonna go through uh, these Scentsy pods. Now these I mainly use in my son's bath or bathroom bedroom, and they're great. They're just these pods that you use with like diffusers. They're like fan diffusers. There's a couple different styles uh, that you can get, and these are the pods that go in them. So this is Blue Grotto. Great, like bright scent. Um, along those same lines, this is sea salt and avocado. Loved it. Lovely. And uh, then we did Johnny Appleseed. Great, you know, scent. Nice, nice fresh, like a, like a fruity, fresh scent, which I liked in my son's room. Um, this one I didn't put in his room. I think I had in my car, but it's Go Go Mango just because it didn't seem like a boy's room scent. Um, and I loved it. It was in my car and in a, in a diffuser fan. And that was cool. Um, pink cotton, which I did like in his room. It's a beautiful, you're, you're gonna see so much pink cotton in my stuff because I love it. Um, freight, uh, laundry kind of scent. We went through two jammy times. Um, here we can get like a thumbnail. Um, these are really nice. Um, they remind me of like a floral, but not like a powdery floral. Uh, they got a little powdery quality to them, but they still smell great in my son's uh, bedroom, and he loved those. Uh, clothesline, another favorite for the bedroom, and this lasts forever. I don't think this is what is in his bedroom right now, but it's an, somewhere I have it in my house because I only have one of those, unless I used it in another video. Um, but I love this in the scent pods. They, this scent lasts so long, it goes on and on and on, so that's a great investment if you're starting out. Um, then I have an aloe water and cucumber. For some reason, the case has gotten lost somewhere. An iridescent pearl. Oh, it doesn't have that strong of a scent anymore, but that was a great scent. Um, that's interesting because the rest of them are like really strong. Still, after iridescent pearl didn't keep retain its scent in the pack once it was used. And this is Amazon Rain, which fan favorite. It's great. Um, so really liked that. And now we can get into the wax. I want to show you just how many there are. I have this much wax that I've gone through um, and it has just been, uh, it, as you probably know, uh, when you start doing these videos, you just want to try so much and you just want to, you know, kind of get familiar and you don't know what you don't know yet. Uh, and so, just through trial and error and buying big packs of like, for example, the Bring Back Your Bar pack, um, I was able to go to get through a lot of different scents and um, have a better understanding of ooh, what works for me. I went flying everywhere. Um, so these are kind of grouped. My desk is a mess. These are kind of grouped. Um, in such a way that I think these ones that I'm pulling out right now are the bring back uh, your bar, or bring back my bar, like part of that deal. Um, when they came out with it, like at the end of summer. This is white tea and cactus. This is the one that I said I loved in the laundry. Love it even more in the wax. It was lovely. Um, I have it on my Scentsy subscription. It's great. I'll keep it there because I just love it. And um, this is Lemon Thyme Berry. It's interesting because you get all of those notes and it's um, one that my even my husband said. I like that scent, so that's a really good one. I have little <laughs> notes to myself on where I put a lot of these. This guy I put in my son's bathroom. It's called Ocean. Um, I think I mentioned this. I didn't like the wax so much um, in that it just had like an Irish Spring soap scent, 
but when I, I think I'm using the dryer disc as we speak, and um, it doesn't have that same scent in the laundry stuff. So I wanna say that that Ocean uh, dryer disc was in the clearance items, and it was worth the purchase just to kind of know the difference. Sometimes the scents work better in the wax for me and sometimes in the other products. So that was one that uh, worked, I liked in the laundry better. Um, Mulberry Bush, that's a great one too. Just um, beautiful berry scent. And it works well, I think, in fall. So I have another bar that I'm warming now that we're in fall and I like it. It's kind of, it transcends the season, so that's good. Um, this is Palo Santo. I had it in my hallway and I probably warmed this at night <laughs> when we were sleeping because it just has that smoky scent that's not my favorite. So, uh, you know, so a lot of these waxes, uh, very few, that's, that's a lie, I don't wanna say that. There are some waxes that I just can't even warm. I don't like them. I don't like, I've tried them. I've tried them at night. I've tried them in different warmers and different temperatures and you know, with different bulbs and stuff. And I just don't like them. So I will mention them in another video because this video is getting too long as it is. But um, it's it pains me to say that, you know, you spend so much money on this product and that there are some things out there that just do not work for me. So um, these all though are empties that I properly got through, even if it was hard. Now this is one that was not hard to get through. This is called Rockin' Ruby Raz, and it's a lovely, like effervescent um, berry scent. It was beautiful. Love Story, got through that. It was great, it's kind of sexy, um, sultry scent. It was beautiful in the bedroom. This is, I'm gonna say this wrong, Kahiko Hula, a very tropical. Um, I remember not loving this as much as I thought I would because I really like tropical scents normally. Um, and I didn't, like I, I remember being surprised that I didn't love it as much as I, thought I should have. Uh, spring Forward, this guy was just strong. It was strong. It was like, knock your socks off, be careful, and mix it with other scents because it was just like, give you a headache strong. Um, Oodles of Oranges, which I love. I love, and it's on my um, subscription, monthly subscription through Scentsy, so um, Oodles of Oranges. If you can get your hands on it, it's great. Um, I wonder, yeah, we can do, let's see, blue hyacinth. Great floral scent. My wish. This one was kind of funky. <laughs> um, I can see why people voted it back because it's different than most Scentsy scents, but that's, it's just got like a twang to it. I don't know, it's, it's different. It's different, and I, I wanna say that I probably warmed some of it uh, at night when I wouldn't have to be hit in the face with it. Watermelon Patch, great. In theory, um, it was really strong to get through that whole bar. So that's what I gotta say about that. There were so many waxes that I had to start keeping them together with rubber bands, so. Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Um, generic uh, scent, not my favorite. It was fine. Uh, I quickly went through that. I remember I put it like four cubes in a, in a uh, warmer just to kind of go through it. Uh, Mad for Melon, lovely, lovely scent. Great, um, I think in my son's bathroom that smelled great. Uh, Summer Soleil, it was a soft, not very strong scent. I remember once you warm it, it smells great in the, in the um, empty uh, bar holder, but it's it was just so soft that it's like, I wouldn't get that again. Uh, Make a Splash nice aquatic 
uh, scent and watermelon mint. Again, great in theory. I didn't love it to get through the whole uh, wax and want to order it again. So that was watermelon mint. Now we have Jet Set Go, which is nice, nice scent. Um, I probably won't order it again. It's fine. I just, you know, don't need that. Um, honeymoon Hideaway. I did. Love this guy. That was nice and strong and, and pretty. So I liked that in my bedroom. French Kiss. Um, I remember liking it. Don't think I loved it. Um, I want to say it's on one of my subscriptions, but... I'm smelling it again in here and I can't, there was something I must have really liked about it to put in my subscription. So, um, it's, it's good. We'll just say that it's good. Candy Crave. That one's great. It's like a sweet kind of laundry almost scent. Oh, it's fresh and, and sweet and really nice. And then Lucky in Love. That's a great one. Uh, I have this spare one that I must have gotten through one of my purchases on OfferUp. It is called Lingerfer. Uh, you can tell it's kind of old. It's got the old Scentsy logo on there. And it was has a sticker that says Scent of the Month. So once upon a time, it must have been Scent of the Month. Um, it was pretty kind of jacked. <laughs> I don't know if someone stored it the best way that they could have. But... Uh, was all right, just all right. I was happy with it, I, you know, someone out there, I think they just kind of threw it in with the purchase of a, like a warmer that I got. So it was good. I was happy to have it and try it. And now I know. Um, I <laughs> have this whole other bag to get through. So quickly, let's go through the samples that I have warmed. Stargazing. That was not my favorite. I didn't get it. I think it was supposed to be kind of like a more masculine scent. Um, I did not, uh, you know, get multiple bars of it like I normally do. So that's just kind of a pass. A Peeling Apple, that was great. And I know I got lots and lots of these waxes. So that was really a nice one. Uh, vanilla blackberry. I really liked this one. Um, I know I didn't get a multiple waxes of it just because at some point I had to like, I had to stop people. I had to, you know, practice self control, but I would have because <laughs> it was really nice. And then, um, this is kind of old school, but this is palm trees and ocean breeze. So it was kind of like a teal sampler that I finally made through, made my way through, because I think I had, that month, had bought two of the wood boxes. So I had a sample kind of hanging out, and I got to the end of summer, and I needed to warm it. Now, let's go into, I have made my way through, oh, that's a Disney one through some of the uh, moment by moment collections. So this guy is called Happy New Home. Um, yeah, this was great. I wanna say that I put this on a subscription and if not, um, it's like a fresh, uh, it's it's like a fresh, fresh punch of like, um, I know I keep saying laundry scents, but I loved it. I, I don't know that I will miss it though if I didn't put it on my subscription because there's so many wonderful laundry scents. So, um, but Happy New Home got, got a thumbs up for me. We have, I thought I put this in some kind of order. So we have lots of wax from the summer collection that I went through. Uh, Mandarin and Mango Nectar. That 
that was good just good it's like a good minus it wasn't you know my favorite um Fiji flower beautiful we went through two of those we have two of the blue agave and melon scents so mm. love it love it love it love it but now we're in fall so no, i don't know that they're inappropriate but i'm not warming summer stuff anymore uh, and then we have two of the coconut daiquiris so um got that now we can move to we can move to scent of the month bars uh palm trees and ocean breeze went through one of those two of the a peeling apple so got that done the uh bar that they sent me in the uh whiff box of stargazing Again, I don't get it. It's fine. I don't have to like everything. Uh, now we have red pear and pomegranate. That was a nice one. Two of the pink sugar berry mints. And I just got another bar of this because it's in my subscription. So that's great. And then plumeria peach. So went through those bars and I am shocked that these wax uh, empty packages have not toppled over so if you hear something fall you know what it is um let's go now I have some more from the summer catalog went through one bar of my hero went through one bar of black Raspberry Vanilla. Went through, there you go. Went through uh, one bar of Amazon Rain in my master bedroom. Uh, Perfect Gentleman, which was Father's Day, and Vanilla Bourbon, also Father's Day. These were great. These were really, really fantastic. Um, Vanilla Bourbon was my favorite out of those two. So if you can get that, it's, um, I still have some wax that I'm warming because it's, uh, wonderful in the fall. So, who do know? Um, let's see, we have a bar of, no, one bar of Magnolia Linen. One bar of Berry Bright. One bar of Sea Salt Avocado. Hibiscus pineapple and rainbows and butterflies. Um, I love rainbows and butterflies much more than I thought I was going to. So, you know, I would get that again. Um, actually, I'd get out of those last five that I mentioned, I'd get all of them again. Who am I kidding? So, uh, here we go. Some more. Summer empties. Two, yeah, two. Two of the O oh, Snapdragon. That was great. Uh, one of the sugared strawberry. Looks like I used it in Aaron's bathroom. Uh, one coral waters and one cocoa lime beautiful lovely and now we get into Disney and licensed um, waxes and of course there would be a lot of course um, these I went through the the pack I did keep this little villains pack uh, that was offered last year it was like a three pack combo of the disney villains and now i i know that they're selling um the disney villains like more sense obviously they offer these they have one for like i think scar on um lion king but uh poor unfortunate souls that is um ursula 
did not like this. I didn't get it. It was kind of weird and had like a weird after scent that I didn't really like. Um, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. This was a nice berry kind of in that, you know, realm of scents and it was good. Um, and then the Evil Queen, just one bite. This was by far my favorite of the three pack. Um, I did save it after I sampled the first cube. I did save it for fall. So this was my most recent one that I finished. Um, and it's great. It's got like apple cinnamon and all of, you know, in a really smartly um, combined way. So it's it's a little different than all of the other apple cinnamon scents that there are in Scentsy. Um, and if you got to pick one, I would pick that one. It's worth the 50 cents more. If you're going to get a wax bar, you know, get a good kind of mixture. Um, I wonder if I have, I don't think I have these in any other particular order. Okay, so I have um, Totally Mini, which was awesome, loved it. I had tried the last petal, the Disney one, that was great. Tried Radiator Springs. That was also a nice scent that I enjoyed. Uh, we're wrapping it up, people, I promise. Um, this guy was Moana, Spirit of Mata Nui, which was a great scent. I know I had stocked up on one other bar just for kicks. Um, and this note to myself just says it smells like a artificial Jolly Rancher, which is not fair because I think that the watermelon patch um, fits that description a little better. This one has a little bit of a floral note that mellows it out and I far like it more than the, you know, watermelon patch or watermelon mint. So. Just so you know, um, I went through Angel Experiment 624. Loved it. That's a good one. Oh boy, a Mickey wax. Uh, I finished a True Love Awaits, which is like a Disney princess scent. That was lovely. And I thought, yes, I finished one each of the Star Wars kind of scents. So this guy is um, the Mandalorian, Air of Adventure. And then we have Star Wars, the Force, Light Side, and Star Wars, the Force, Dark Side. So these are the kinds, um, or the, these scents come in a, I guess in a combination that you can kind of do a mixture of the two and I tried all kinds of different you know two to one ratios of you know the light to dark and then vice versa and then just the light and just the dark and I loved them all there was not a combination that I would say was bad so that's kind of nice if you want to change it up um, we went through a bar of Marvel nine rounds and a bar of the Little Mermaid, Kiss the Girl. That's a good one. This guy is really great. Um, I don't remember if I got this on one of my subscriptions, but I might have stocked up on it so much that I let it go. But it's a really, really great scent, the Little Mermaid one. And then, last but not least, the 100 Acre Wood. Uh, bar that I went through. So, all in all, before starting this video, I added all of the products here on my table and on my floor, and they did equal to uh, about $800. So, there you have it. That's what I've been warming, and those are all my Scentsy empties for the last, like, three, four months. And um, I'm excited to get back to recording again, and I'll have some new content for you guys the next month. There's lots of cool um, fall waxes out there. Um, what I can tell you just quickly, 
just to wrap up this video is I do know myself a little bit better now. Um, I'm the kind of person that enjoys the spring and summer scents a little bit more than the fall and winter scents. So there's some of that going on. Um, so my next video might not be, you know, as positive as this one uh, when it comes to the empties, but that's okay. You gotta have that. And uh, yeah, so um, thanks again for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe. It helps me more than you know. And um, yeah, like this video if you like the content. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next upload.